Hi, welcome to the audio slide presentation of our research paper. I am Susana Ormigos Jimenez from the University San Pablo CEU, and for the next few minutes I will be discussing the main findings of our study titled Ventilation Rate Determination Method for Residential Buildings According to t bog Emissions from Building Materials. This paper focuses on the necessity of maintaining a good indoor air quality in residential buildings. These spaces are low-density occupation ones. Therefore, it is important to consider that materials, more specifically finishes and furnishing, are one of the main sources of indoor pollution. This research is based on the materials emission factors information included in the NRC database and also on a specific case study, which you can see on the image, in order to develop a ventilation rate determination method. This method consisted of three steps. The first one, the identification of indoor pollution sources. The second, the evaluation of the emission factor. And the third, the characterization of the indoor air quality. This study also reflects the need to bring together an overall pollution concentration threshold of TBOC below which a safe level of exposure to indoor pollution is recognized. This research is significant because most of the current regulations establish criteria based on CO2 emissions, that's to say, in the presence of people. However, in low-density spaces, such as residential buildings, another important source of pollution are building materials. Fogs adversely affect both occupant comfort and health. Usually, a high amount of bugs are detected indoors. Thus, in order to perform a simpler and faster analysis of such quantity, the concept of total volatile organic compounds, TBOC, is used. A typical room was considered and several emission sources were introduced using the database included in the IA Quest software to achieve the main objective of this study, which is to show the influence of several parameters in establishing a suitable ventilation rate. These parameters are the materials, which are the indoor pollution emission sources, the loading ratio, which is the ratio between the surface of the emission source and the volume of the room, and the maximum permissible concentration. The image shows the ventilation rate needed according to different periods of time since the application of the materials in the indoor space. When modifying the volume in 10, 20, 30 and 40 cubic meters, the loading ratio varied as well and also the air exchange rate needed. Here, the figure shows the decrease in the calculated ventilation rate when considering less restrictive requirements which accept a higher maximum concentration. The main conclusions of this study can be summarized in the three following ones. First, the methodology followed, based on the materials emissions, provides an advance in the field of research Second, the influence on the ventilation rate of the number of materials, the loading ratio, and the TBOC concentration threshold is demonstrated. And third, it is necessary to unify the criteria for a good indoor air quality, considering the building materials and setting a maximum permissible overall concentration to ensure the occupant safety. Future research lines will be focused on establishing the minimum time that has to elapse from the application of new materials until it is safe to use the space. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope you find this presentation interesting and useful. And if you need further information, do not hesitate to contact us.